Hi there, it's Sarah from Ruffles and Rain Boots, and today we are making nesting gnomes. Oh yeah, like Matryoshka dolls. These, look, stack all, they're great for storage and they're adorable. Everybody loves these. They look great on a display. Now these are not new to Ruffles and Rain Boots, but I thought I'd remake them so that you all here on the YouTube channel could enjoy their boop cuteness. If you'd like to make them, stick around. As always, please hit that like button so that I know you're here crafting with me. Now, I have created a pattern for you. I cut it out on my maker, but you can cut it out by hand if you don't have a cutting machine. You can get the whole supplies list and the free pattern below. You're gonna need fur, chipboard, paint, and beads. But first, here with a friendly gnome reminder to subscribe. How? Just click that red subscribe button below and then the bell for turning on all notifications. Now let's get back to Sarah and the crafts. Okay, so once all of our pieces are cut, we are going to assemble every single one of these cuties the same exact way. So we're gonna put down a triangle piece and then we're gonna hold a rectangle piece up to one end. We're gonna start it at the very, very tip in the front and it's gonna go all the way to the bottom. Now. While holding that, we're gonna add some hot glue and then press in the other side. And then you're gonna move your hands, hold the tips, and then you're gonna add a little bit of hot glue right where they join at the top. And the reason is, is because it's gonna add a little stability. So you don't have to go all the way down, just a little bit. And then while you're holding that, you're gonna add beads of hot glue to the back. And try to get the hot glue to fall inwards if you would uh, like, but you can also just wipe it away if you're using a low heat glue gun. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you this again. Every one of these sizes, including the BB, he's so little. Uh, every single one of them is the same way. It gets easier when they're smaller. And so we're gonna put the sides on, hold them, add a little dab of hot glue at the top, and then we're going to put glue all along the top edges here and the other side, and then put our little top on. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, so now in order to make the faces um, where we have a hat and a body and that face in the center, we're just gonna tape it off. Now I'll save you some frustration. Just do one side, cut off the edges, and then use some more tape. I used thicker tape for the larger gnomes and a half of this for the smaller gnomes. And we do this for every single little baby gnome too. Hello, baby gnomes and progressively all the way down. It's really easy, you just do the same thing multiple times. Once the pieces are cut, that's the hard part. And now, from hard to easy, we are going to start our painting. So I chose, um, I'll show you what I did last year or the year before, but we're gonna paint the hat and the body pieces. Um, just make sure your tape is down and go down away from the tape. Um, here's what I did last year or the year before. I just distressed these so they're very natural looking. But hey, use bright colors. Use red and green traditional colors. Use whatever color palette you'd like to use. Just get them all painted. Now it is chipboard, so don't glob on the paint and don't use a wet paint like a casein or milk paint. Definitely try and use an acrylic or even a chalk paint to paint these guys. Um, it will absorb some of the paint, so it'll mute your colors, but I promise you, you don't want to wet paint on these. After they're dry, I do give them a while. We're going to remove that tape carefully, and with a flat-edged paintbrush, this is real time. I'm not speeding this up. I'm not slowing this down. Go this slow. Using that flat-edged paintbrush or a paint pen, go ahead and do whatever colors you would like for your little faces. And they usually only take one coat of this. Do that all the way around on all of them. And now we're gonna add features with our faux fur. I have Mongolian fur here. I have the width of the beard piece down at the body. And then I have, I'm gonna cut this into a tiny little rectangle and I'm gonna fold the fabric in on itself to make a teeny tiny mustache. Isn't he cute? We're just gonna pull the mustache fur away from the center, add our bead of hot glue, place down our beard, and then right at the top of the beard, we're going to add the fabric, or glue to the fabric side of that mustache and add it right on top. Now for the eyebrows, these are all gonna vary in size based on how bushy you want and the size of your gnome, but we're just gonna cut teeny tiny little rectangles for this eyebrows. And then we're just gonna add our little nose and then do this a lot more times. 
<laughs> this is it. It's just repetitive, but it goes very, very quickly once the pieces are cut. You can see, look at him, boopity boop boops. So after you have all of your pieces, you're gonna let them set and um, you have an awesome nesting gnomes display. Oh, let's see it again so fast. Oh, aren't they great? Everybody just loves these. It's an engineering feat. Let me know in the comments. Boop, what do you think of these guys? Will you make them? Hey, thanks for being here. As always, please like and subscribe to Ruffles and Rain Boots for more crafty fun.